Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, it's time babes. It's time to set up our new July budgets. It is time. Currently, I have here my Neutral Deluxe Monthly Planner from Erin Condren, the 2019-2020 um, Planner, Deluxe Monthly Planner. And it is time for me to set this thing up. I will not be using this as my full um, budget planner just because I'm I'm very indecisive at the moment. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know how I feel about my Big Happy Planner. But I did mention that my Big Happy Planner is going to be my main budget planner. But we are going to use this monthly layout to lay down all my bills. I was going to do this for my Big Happy Notes. However, considering all the check-ins there will be no space for this and I just like a clean layout just to see only my bills nothing else I don't want to see expenses I don't want to see anything I just want to see my bills that I need to get paid and if I've checked them off so that's exactly what we are going to do here today and if you hear background noise I'm so sorry we're just going to have to live with it all right so the first things first is rent rent is always due at the beginning of the month so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little rent due sticker right over here on the first because that is when my rent is due my rent is due on the first of every month so that looks right there and we're done with that now we are gonna move with into my month my other monthly necessities which is my phone my phone is due on the 13th of every month and that one actually lands on the 13th so we're going to go ahead and put that my phone bill is due that day and it looks great and that is all for that monthly necessities the other monthly necessity is my gas um, bill for my house but since i still have a credit from um um socal gas for the climate change i don't know I don't have to pay that just yet. I still have enough credit to cover me for one more month, I believe. And then after that, we should be good. Now we're going to move into the credit cards that I need to pay. So here we go. I've laid out all of the cards that I need to pay. And I'm going to use my bill due stickers right over here. I'm not going to put down my payday stickers just yet because... I'm going to put down these and see how much will fit in there and then we'll move it along. So first we have my city card. So let me go ahead and grab my pen and I'm going to be using, let me look in this magic box over here. I'm going to be using the Inkjoy matte paper pen in 0.7 in black. And the first thing that I see listed is city card. And I'm going to go ahead and use this color right now. I know I'm so indecisive so, um, what colors so I'm gonna use this one right here or that one now let's just use this one we're gonna use city card and this one is $25 and if you're wondering where all these stickers are from they're from my shop except for this one this one is I forget who lavender plans maybe and my um, city card is due on the 22nd of the month. So here we go. Now, if you guys are wondering why I do monthly overview layouts, it's because I want to see where my bills land and where my paychecks land. So like that, I know which paycheck needs to cover what or how much I can stretch that paycheck so the other paycheck does not have so much overwhelmingness. But... I'll explain that at the end. So next I have Bank of America. Bank of America will be red. So let's do Bank of America. And this time around I have to pay two Bank of America cards. Um, I now have to start repaying my mom's as we agreed prior to this. So my Bank of America is a $30 payment, minimum payment. Everything that you see here is my minimum payment and once I get paid and I see what leftover I have, I will then make a snowball uh, payment. And this one is due, oh what's going on, come on, there we go. This one is due on the 19th, so on the 19th I have my Bank of America, 
Beautiful. Now Best Buy. Best Buy. Let's do this. Best Buy is due on the 21st and it's a $45 payment. And this Best Buy is from my dad. He had let me borrow his um his um credit card back when I was in college to buy myself a computer when mine had died out and then I ended up adding a uh, a camera to it which is this one that you guys are seeing and now until recently I finally once I started my channel I finally started using this but it was back in the days when I bought this so the 21st and I'm still paying for that can you imagine insane so next off I have Target that one will be let's do this in pink the zoo Target and Target a minimum payment of $32 And this one is also due on the 19th. Come on. Beautiful. Next we have JCPenney. And JCPenney is $74. And this one is due on the 23rd of each month. And... I honestly, I, yeah. this card, I despise this card. The interest is so high on this one. It's ridiculous. And I feel like even though this account is closed, I feel like I'm never going to get through paying it. Like this, oh, I can't stand that card. Anywho, moving along. Next off, I have Credit Union. And Credit Union, let's make it into this lovely color right over here. Reminds me of the bank's um, color. So Credit Union. And this one is $274 automatically payment done on every 8th of the month. So let's do that one, which lands on a Monday. Beautiful. That looks great. And then last but not least, I have my student loan. And this one is $140 a month and this is also an automatic payment and this is on every 25th of the month no escaping that and like I had said before I am now paying my mom's target I mean Bank of America card so I'm gonna put B of A and then I'm gonna put mom and I always pay $50 for her and we're gonna go ahead and put that I believe is on the 16th for her and that you guys is all of my payments that I have my phone bill is $57 so I'm gonna write that right in there and wow do you guys see how wow I'm, I'm I don't know if it's because I've been paying off so much debt that now I'm so I'm not used to seeing such a blank canvas you guys like I'm really not used to it what it's insane I don't know, but at the beginning of last year, uh, if you guys had not seen, my my monthly budget was like full to the brim with payments. And now it's just, there's a couple in there and they're pretty high balances, but it does not seem horrible at all. So now I want to put down my payday stickers. So for sure, I'm supposed if I go back to work on the 2nd, on the 3rd, payday will be on the 5th. So I'm going to go based on like if work actually existed, okay? I know currently I'm um, off duty because I'm on workers comp. So we're going to put that one there and then I'm going to put one on the 19th. And that is how paydays are going to work. Let me fix this one. I feel like this one is all crooked. There we go. Let me fix it. And that is how 
my July month is looking like. Sorry if it's all out of focus or out of frame. But this is how July looks just on pure bills. I have my bills and my mom's that I need to take care of. And that is it. That is everything that I have to pay. And it just looks nice. So for those who are wondering why is the, what is the purpose of this page. If you guys see, you guys see that you have to pay a rent. Your monthly dues. I don't have to pay my gas bill yet. But that would be in here next month. And you get to see if I get paid on the 5th. I need this paycheck to cover everything to the 18th so this paycheck will have to take care of my credit union it will have to take care of my phone and it will have to take care of my mom's um, credit card um, payment here now when I get paid on the 19th again this paycheck will have to take the biggest hit it will have to take care of my target Bank of America, my Best Buy, City, JCPenney, and Student Loan. So that's why I want to be very careful on how I handle this paycheck. If this paycheck only covers one, two, three bills, and I have a pretty significant chunk, I'm going to want to use this paycheck to cover a little parts of these portions to help offset the weight of this paycheck, if that makes any sense. But yes, this is the reason why I always do the monthly layout. Because I want to see where my paychecks hit, what bills are in that vicinity of the times, and what this paycheck needs to um, take over so this paycheck is not so constraining. Because you have to think about this doesn't include gas, groceries, all that miscellaneous items that you want. This only includes of the um, payments that are automatically or you know your dues to pay after your four walls. So. That is why I always do this layout so you guys can see that my bills are bottom heavy most and not so top. But I do have one bill that is insanely high which is 274 compared to these 50s and 25s and 30s. So anywho, I hope you guys understood how, why these are you know a must in my budget um, process because it just helps me visually see everything and what needs to be taken care of and once things get paid off I start to check them off as they go because then I'm like oh, okay that hasn't been paid off if there's no check mark and if I believe I have I will go through my bank um, mobile bank to see if it was automatically deducted if I've actually paid it if it's not then it gives me you know a light bulb saying hey you need to get that done before you know you get any late fees or anything else starts to um, grow on top so yes I hope you guys enjoyed this sorry if I rambled off a bit but I just wanted to explain why these videos are essential to my budget planning and yeah I'll see you in my next video bye you guys